Woo. Oh, you know what? I guess I don't have no idea how loud this microphone is. That could... Oh, okay, that mutes myself. Well, cool. This is just a stream for me to unbox stuff. My old ra my uh, racetracks to be specific, I guess. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Gatorade Cup Series. Very cool. I need to turn that off because that might be loud. Uh, hopefully, you, you, everyone can hear me all right. Um, or, yeah, ho hopefully people can hear me okay. I have a knife in my hand. Don't try this at home. War flash warning. I wish I had an editor. Oh, well, I don't need an editor. I edit my own stuff. I'm not big on anything. Okay, so. Yeah. Um, this is my bigger. These are my bigger tracks. And I want to do these first. Usually I'd save my bigger tracks for later. But I want to go ahead and get these out of the way. I have not opened these in a year and a month maybe. And that's because my last house, their floor space wasn't big enough. But since this is the last house I'm going to live in until college, might as well open them now, even if the floor isn't big enough. It's debatable. That this knife sucks. Okay, so it's been in packing tape for a year now. Let's see how they fare. These are going to be tracks like uh, um, Monster Energy Motor Speedway, or Motor Raceway, whatever that was called. Walmart is going to be in here. Uh, Duck Motor Complex. Home Depot, figure eight track, things of that nature. And I'll, oh, I'll also be responding to comments, any comments that I get. I'll try my best to respond to. Uh, hopefully this isn't too long. How well did I wrap these things? I did not trust movers at all. I mean, I still don't, but uh, so much packing tape. There we go. All right, I actually see some card. So now, for the first time in a year, cardboard is being exposed to fresh air. Um, it would be great if this was easier to open. I didn't wrap it so well. Did I do like three or four layers on this thing? This is a struggle. I'll actually get to showing off the tracks here in a second. This is just making me angry because I worked out earlier today and my shoulders are sore. So now it's hard to... Uh, shoulders, no. All right, knife time. You know what? There's a reason why I had this. I'm so afraid to cut the tracks open though. It'll be fine. My anxiety is not. Put the knife where I won't step on it and stab myself. What's up, Cam Spinner? Oh, come on. As you see here, I am struggling with packing tape that has been holding for over a year. So I guess it's good packing tape then. But I didn't open these at my last house for people who just joined. Uh, I don't know. I can't see the tracker. I'm so used to like only having like one or zero people in my live stream. So the counter says four. That's pretty cool. All right. I can start showing the tracks off finally. All right. Not yet. Let me pick up all of this. Yeah, a year. Uh, my last house was too small to open these. So the last house I was in in Pennsylvania that hosted the end of the last two races of season three and the entire trilogy tournament, actually. Um, those were all smaller tracks because the, all the bigger ones are wrapped up. Now, let's see. What, what is this first one? I think, yeah. Okay, so this is not yet a track. <laughs> this is just a piece of cardboard. So I'm really I'm glad you enjoyed the live stream. That's all we have for today. I'm kidding. Um, there we go. There's a lamp. I have actual... This is going to take just a second. I'm going to use the lights that I use in stop motion so I can show some of these lines better. My hair is a mess. I was not well prepared for this live stream. 
See you, Jordan. Uh, where are these stands? Here they are. Man, I just realized this is like the most clickbaity thing. I say, hey, I'm going to show off all my tracks. It's five minutes in. You guys have seen a blank piece of cardboard and me struggling to unwrap packing tape. This is fantastic. And it says I have six people watching. Oh, sweet. Very cool, Jordan. What is up, Nick, the good gamer? Um, I'm going to move this package over there. So I moved in two days ago. So everything, like I just finished up my room today, which is nice. So I figured it'd be a perfect time to open all my stop motion tracks. So, okay, my closet's not done, but you don't need to worry about that. It's just a whole bunch of clothes piled up. Uh, I'm talking too much. Okay, now that the studio light's on, I'm going to actually get into showing off these tracks. So after six minutes, the clickbait is finally over. This, ooh, the white light might be too bright. Oh, well, I don't know how well the pencil markings can be seen. Let me dim this down a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Holy crap, I actually have people in my chat and seven people watching. This is really cool. Um, it's really hard to see the lines, but this is what I did the banking test on. I believe it was 2019 banking test. I want to say it's my most viewed stop motion video, over 5,000 views on that one. That is Panera Speedway. There's another one on the back of this. So that's Panera Speedway, the one that I did the banking test. If you want a better view of that, go look at that uh, video if you haven't already. I'm <laughs> Honestly, chances are most of you have seen that one. Uh, this is going to become Scotch Speedway. Again, it's only pencil lines. But it's a pretty pretty long road course. It's hard to show these because they're somewhat big. But that's fine. Now we can get on to the ones that are more colored. Let's see. I'm going to adjust this camera up a little bit. So this. Okay, so there are two tracks here. There's Duck Complex and there is the Home Depot figure eight from season two. I went back and I paved the track. I put Sharpie over it. So the figure eight's paved and the road course is paved. I actually might do a race on that one um, for, for uh, soonish. And then this is the Duck Motor Complex, still just as it was for that season two race, I believe race three. This was the first, I think this was the first race I did in my series on a cardboard track, except for the season one finale, of course, which is on the back of this. I, uh, Champion Speedway, or it was Champion Speedway. Now it's probably going to be something like Icebreaker Speedway. I put grass on it, so it's no longer just a barren desert landscape, and the frames per second won't be, or I guess they were pretty high, it's just the movement was too fast. Whatever, that's an old race. This is Big Boy Road Course. It is as tall as I am. So big boy road course there. First box out of the way. Second one. This is, ooh. Oh, this one's cool. All right, I'll save this one for next. But it's going to buckle on its own, so it has to lay down on the bed without getting stabbed by the knife. Hold on, I'm reading uh, Cam's comment here. I only have two weeks at school. Oh, nice. That is uh, super exciting for your series, Cam. I am very excited for that. Okay. Now, I am going to show off Walmart. I keep getting concerned. It's dumb. But I'm looking at the people thing, and it says six, but I keep thinking it says zero because I can't see that far on the little tiny computer screen. All right, yeah, it doesn't matter anyways. All right, so this is Walmart. This was actually somewhat recent, season three, race eight, I believe. It was the race before the cutoff, the last one I filmed in North Carolina before I put all the big boxes up. That had to be a shorter race because I had to film it in like two weeks, and it takes me a long time to film my races, unfortunately. But lots of, lots of different squiggly lines on here. And then season two finale track is on the back of this. Season two finale was Monster Energy Motor uh, Race. I mean, it was MEMS, Monster Energy Motor Speedway. So it's a big oval around the outside and then a road course in the middle. 
Um, I, another one that I want to race on fairly soon. Oh, I'm folding that backwards. Let's not break these traps. I like them. Okay, this next one I used on a flight camp video. It is a stop motion of me explaining a plane's aerodynamics. Don't look it up. You don't need to, but it got me a scholarship to something, so that's cool. Um, how do I open this? This is such a wiggly piece of cardboard. Okay, here we go. I'm struggling a lot in this video. Um, this is... Oh, come on. Don't buckle on me. Don't... Okay, there we go. Oh, it's so heavy. And it's really, really big. It's not even fully paved yet, but I present... It, it's an airport. I can't even show all of it because my mouth is disappearing. Hold on. It's just a giant airport. I hope you guys can see the bottom of it because um, I can't tell. I can't look over the top of this. This thing is gargantuan in size. But I can't remember how to fold this up. Okay, I think this is going to take a second. Cam, I'll read your comment in a second here. Uh, this is a nightmare to work with. It's so big and so floppy. I hate this piece of cardboard, but I love that. I love the airport, and one day I hope to have a space big enough to set that up. So that is – oh, what's up, Pika? Uh, you've uh, So – oh, wait. I said I'd read Cam. It's Airport Raceway, yes. Gatorade when I get when I get my fan replaced. Ooh, fan broken Texas. Ah, that sucks. I can start working at Expedition Race with 11 cars. I have while I get 20. Nice. That is really, really cool, Gatorade. Yeah, so quick thing with Pika uh, in the chat here. I'm going to do a 24-hour Minecraft challenge with some of my friends. That includes the this the Pika. So I have that to look forward to later tonight, but I wanted to open my tracks first. Now, before I open the rest of my tracks, which are all the smaller ones, I have this. This is not unwrapped. This is new. I made this here before my in the week that my boxes were not at this house. Yep, sorry, Pika. This is one of my favorite tracks, honestly. I just I just made it. This Before I show the whole thing, you already see it's paved. This was one of the tracks that you could have voted for to be the Season 3 finale. I like the Season 3 finale track a lot. But holy crap, I was able to put time on this. I was able to use everything that I knew about how to make a good stop motion track. And here it is. This thing is beautiful. I'm, I love this so much. It's Geico, Geico Raceway, Geico Speedway. I'm not sure yet. It's not done. I'm going to put a logo in this hairpin. And then I've got to complete the pit boxes. But this is my favorite. This might be my favorite track at the very moment. I, I love it so much. But now I'm going to unwrap the other ones that were not wrapped up for a year. <laughs> no ice. Um, back with the trusty knife. Don't try this at home. You might cut yourself open. Holy crap, there are nine viewers. Thank you, Gatorade. Yeah, I am, that track, I am super, super excited. That's, I want to say that's going to be my next stop motion on that track. And if it's not on that track, it'll be very soon. I should not point my knife at you guys. I'm not monetized, but still, that's a little bit threatening, I think. So this one was wrapped up just for the move. So these were all tracks that I used, or I could have used recently. I haven't used all of them because some of them, uh, honestly, aren't that good. Either the cardboard foundation is wobbly or I just don't like them. I see that there are more comments than chat. I'll read those after I'm done ripping the top of this open. If you were here at the beginning of the stream, you know I suck at opening these apparently. But whatever, I got the top ripped off, and I see the chat kind of blown up. Geico Raceway put them Hall of Hall of Frame. 
Ty Dillon would love that. Yes, he would. I actually, uh, I have an Instagram channel for this um, page. It's not the it's same thing as the YouTube channel. Uh, I have an Instagram page. And I posted pictures of Ty Dillon and Casey Mears, uh, 20, I want to say 2011, 2012 car. Casey, uh, those two were showing off the track. And the numbers just keep on climbing. What's up, Procore Series and Jimmy John's Series? Cup Series, whatever. My brain is fried because I'm super excited about this. I don't think I've ever had a live stream with this many people before. Not that I live stream much. Okay, time for my knife to do work before. Uh, uh, let's see here. Well, I wrap these way too good. I do not trust movers, apparently. I wrap these too good. Uh, this. Uh, oh, these are. Okay, I'm going to put these down on the floor. What's up, Don? Uh, Donovan, Di uh, oh, what does that say? Divo Man Diecast Racing. What's up? These are all gonna fall out. Where did, where's a good place to put these? I don't know my room well enough yet. Okay, the lighted flat. I wrap these way too much. I hope everyone's enjoying watching me struggle with this because. I feel like this would be very boring to watch. Okay. Why did I pick these up? I just said they were going to fall. <laughs> All right, got the corner off. It's, it's just it's an unboxing video. It's literally the title. It is an unboxing video. I wonder how delayed my... Oh, no. Did my corner squish? Uh, okay, you know what? It's fine. They're not ruined. It's not a problem. Because it's not like I have any tracks that go all the way to the corners of the boxes. So it's okay. I need to cut this and try to do it quickly before I lose interest. Oh, okay. I found something that worked for me. Oh, no. I stabbed the track. I stabbed Tropical Smoothie Speedway. Okay, I forgot that I So I wrapped these in two separate bundles. Let me check the chat really quick. Thoughts on Blaney's throwback scheme? Good question. And I'll answer why they're in boxes in just a second with the stabby stab knife. The Blaney throwback scheme looks so good. I love it. I have his um, red advanced auto parts car. I need my pencil. Okay, I'm also streaming on YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like, oh. it's, it's fine. Get a pencil. It's right there. Buy, sorry. Buy, you, you've been on a video before. It's fine. Get guest appearance from my sister. Thank you very much. So they were all in boxes because of moving. I've, I've, um, I've moved a lot recently. So all the bigger tracks that I unwrapped before, they were all in boxes for a year. They're all wrapped up for an, a year. Our, our special guest, the sister. Yes, very, there you go, Nick. Um, yeah, oh, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to read all the chat really quick. I'm getting so distracted. I'm not used to having so many people here. This is cool. So I move a lot. So I wrapped up the tracks to put in the moving truck. So I was not in control of the, I shouldn't put the knife so close to my chest. I apologize. Um, I put the, they were in the crates uh, during the move for about a month. So I'm unwrapping them all because now I'm at a new house. Twitch, Twitch stream win. Yep. There you go. I like the black. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. The black, honestly, I think looks better than the red. I'm not going to say I wish it was his primary scheme. I want to say I want them to alternate between that black, the black Blaney Auto Parts and the red Blaney Auto Parts car. They both look really, really good. Oh, man, you have a Coda track? That's super cool. All right, age. Yeah, I have no problem. I'm 17. I turn 18 in like two months. So, yeah, no, I don't, I don't mind. 
Yeah, so Coda Strap, that must be huge. I Ah, oh man, yeah, that's going to be tough to store, but I, I would love to make a Coda Strap. I don't make any actual tracks. I made Martin Day is going to be the closest to cross between Martinsville and Talladega, but I've made all custom tracks just because I like making up my own tracks, I guess. Eventually, I'll make actual real tracks, though. 17 years old, gang. out of boy. Seven to eight feet long. Holy crap. That's like... Here, let's see. I'm 5'9", so that's like up here. Ew. Wow, that's big. He went to the Coda Cup race. That's cool. That must have been a fun one to go to with all the rain and all the controversies with uh, when the NASCAR stopped it and didn't stop it. All right, now I need to get back to unwrapping tracks because I am getting distracted. We're going to go through all my smaller ones first because I wrap these up in two different bundles, and the smaller bundle is what decided to open up for I stab my bed sheets. But, but the bed sheets are definitely bleeding at this point. Coda was a good race. Laying, laying against my wall. <laughs> yeah, tracks that lay against your wall suck to film. I, I might be in that situation because I want to film some of my bigger tracks, and my room is just barely big enough to have them put down, but when you don't have space to walk around, it's tough because I don't have a table or anything. And tables can be pretty tricky to do this. What's up, random sports guy? The bed sheets are bleeding. Yeah, they're blue, and they're turning red slowly. Um. All right, first off, because i got to get back to this. I keep getting distracted. You guys are amazing. Um, I have these things of cardboard. and I'm have, Ooh, this is fun. I might just do this for a while. So that created a nice little air current in my room. There's nothing on those. Ooh, Br Bristol and Dover are good table tracks. Sat in the third row on the front stretch. That's cool, because you're right up next to the cars, third row there. Um, holy crap, you guys. I'll be there for 18 minutes until... Okay, yeah, no, when you're thinking premieres, feel free to go to, like, I'm, I, hopefully I won't be here for 18 minutes. Okay, so this is a track, season three, race four, Hertz Water Speedway. It got an upgrade. I mean a big upgrade. It is now fully paved, white line, pit bot. This track is 100% done, which is not something a lot of my tracks can say. It has, it has pit lines. It's completely paved. I, I really do love this one, too. It's, it, it was a fun track to make when it was unpaved. Now completely paved, white-lined. It is beautiful. Yeah, it, it is It is very wide. It is very skinny and very wide, and Michael Waltrip almost flipped there. Uh, next track I have out of my smaller ones. Um... All right, well, this isn't even a track. I don't even know if this is one I can keep. I have an outline. It is a garbage piece of cardboard. I don't even know if you can see the outlines on here. I, I, I don't know really why I have this track, honestly. Bristol, Dover, Martinsville, Phoenix, Richmond, and New Hampshire, all good table tracks. That is 100% oh, best track yet. But, yeah, all of those the shorter tracks, my own, my own below tracks are so great. I, I almost say Nashville. Because you could get away with making Nashville Super Speedway, not Fairgrounds. Fairgrounds, of course, is good. You could almost get away with Super Speedway being a table track. Season three, race number two. Table, uh, I can't remember if it was Tower Speedway at the time. It was either Tower Speedway at the time or it was Cake Tray. It's Cake Tray now because I don't want to worry about making the tower out there every time, I think. Um, it's paved. Pretty much that's all it's changed. It's paved, and there are some red lines. It's a really tiny little, like, I think I said it was fourth of a mile, but I'm, I'm not going to draw everything. Track is smooth. Thank you. Yeah, it's um, it's a cake tray, so it's not like normal cardboard. It's really slick, but for whatever reason, it also holds the cars on well. It's really weird. Okay, McDonald's, I see you don't want to be nice today. Time for old Ronald to get a taste of his own cooking, which is, uh, I don't know. Death by burger. Death, a stab knife. I'm not stabbing anyone, just to clarify. I'm only stabbing a racetrack. Not the racetrack, just the... I'm sorry. Ah, there we go. Ah, okay, that was a little bit more tiring than what I wanted it to be. McDonald, yes. Yeah, I, I've... Yeah, oops. Um, There we go. McDonald's, it's paved. Again, really only change. I paved a lot of these tracks before I moved from Pennsylvania. So McDonald's is paved. 
not 100% done because I haven't done pit boxes, but I hate doing pit boxes. So McDonald's is McDonald's. Season 3, race 6, I believe. Oh, that's cool, Gatorade. That's the first one you went. That's a good one. to. I feel like that was a good first one to go to. It's just such a unique experience at Coda. Mickey D's. Yep. Lively, I'll be watching. Yeah, Lively. I uh, Again, I shouldn't be on at that point. If I'm still on this, I'm sorry. But if, I, if, I'm, if I'm in the live stream before your premiere starts, I'll probably try to get on your premiere. I'll see. Ooh. I might have to do something else, though. I'll, fi I'll figure it out. Uh, I, have, I have a little bit to do today after this, but... Uh, Pepsi. Oh, I'm picking up two here. Hold on. Bojangles, go back on the floor where you belong. No, Bojangles, you're good. You're a good track. I just made your logos backwards by accident. Pepsi Speedway. Yeah, so I am done with season three, Lively, if you are. Yeah, the Pepsi track is nice. This was season two, race eight, I believe. Um, uh, I, I, love, I love this one. The long, the sharp one and two, and then the big long three and four, which as you'll see is a common theme of all my tracks because Bojangles has a sharp turn one, a flowing turn two, a big wide turn three and four. This one has a sharp one and two, a long three and four. Really need to get more creative with my track style. Carnation would definitely approve of this. Yeah, thank you, Lively. Uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I, I do have some stuff I need to do after this live stream, but I'll, I'll see what I can do, Lively. So, Pepsi, and then on the back of it, uh, I love Pepsi. Pepsi's been complete for a while. Martin Dega, which um, I just showed on a race a few weeks ago, actually, because Martin Dega was one of the trilogy tournament races. So you, got, you guys have seen this one. You guys don't need to keep seeing Martin Dega. I love that track, though. Always love that track a lot. All in NASCAR races of Kentucky and Indy in 2019. Okay, well, I think Indy 2019, though, was a good race. I want to say that Indy 2019 was actually a fun race to watch. I think it was kind of a wreck fest. I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure Indy 2019 was pretty good. The Indy races after Kyle Busch, like, there, I think it was 2018 when Kyle Busch wrecked out after having, like, a three-race Indy win streak. The races after that were good at Indy. I just... I don't know. Indy's, Indy's a tough one for NASCAR. I'm glad they're moving to the road course, though. Yeah, watch the Martin Dega. Nice. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, two tracks in one. So the reason why I do two tracks in one like that, I'll have some trifle boards. Uh, most of these are trifle boards. Most of the smaller ones are trifle boards. Speaking too fast. Um, I will use packing paper on the backs of some of them. I don't do that anymore because I don't like setting up. I'm too lazy to set it up that way. But the packing paper will let me, because this track, it's all the Elmer's logos on the back, right? If you put packing tape, paper over it, it's just like it would be a normal cardboard surface. So this is Bojangles, season three finale track, which you guys voted on. It was, I think it was a fantastic race. You had one of the championship contenders flip. Oops, spoilers. You know what? It's, that race has been out for a couple months now. Bojangles. Go watch that race if you want to see more of that track, because that's actually one of my favorite races that I've ever made. Except for one of the crashes in it. One of the crashes is a little bit iffy, but whatever. I still like that race. Um, all right. Oh, okay. That's a big comment. Then I'll go back to unwrapping. I went to Phoenix 2008, Vegas 29. Well, clearly somebody lives out west, Pro Corp, but that, that's really, really cool. I have, uh, you know what? Screw it. I'll go ahead and say the races I've been to. I've been to Coke 600 2009, I think. I want to say that's when Michael McDowell won the rain out. Because I knew I know it was rained out. So I think it was 2000. It was 2009 Coke 600. I didn't go to another one. And, ooh, 20. Whenever Ryan Newman ran his cookies for kids paint scheme, I want to say 2012, I went to a race. And I actually got to sit here. See, you're not supposed to tell the NASCAR officials this. I got to sit in the pit box of a of an F tier team, so that was an incredible experience. I got super super lucky with a couple of connections on that one, but I was too young to understand what was happening. So I just sat in the pit box yelling "Go Cookie" at Ryan Newman, who was one slide over, which was fantastic. Signed up for season four of the <laughs> Cup Series. Good good job. Nice secrets. I've only lived on the West Coast, so yeah. But that, those are some fun races to go to, man. I want, I want to go out west and especially see Sonoma a couple of times. 
But, uh, yeah, so I got really lucky with that Charlotte race. I think Jimmy Johnson had a really bad wreck because we went home early because we were young. Or me and my sister, we went. So we were young and we went home early. I didn't go to another NASCAR race until 2019 Daytona 500. If I would have gone to the 2020 Daytona 500, I would have been scarred for life because I'm a huge Newman fan. I'm really glad I went the year before. Um, and Denny Hamlin won, which was fine, I guess. But that was the year where De Benedetto had the big crash in the 95 when he was had the chance to win. So that was that was such a fun race to watch there. I've gone to date. I've only gone to Daytona in 2020, Daytona Road Course in 2020, Rolex 24. That's cool. That that's uh, it's cool to get all of those good Daytona uh, races in, all of the big, big famous ones. I'd I'd love to go see the Rolex one day and just try to see if I could stay at the track for the entirety of the Rolex. That would be fun. Um, so I went to Daytona 2019. I went to Charlotte Roval 2019, where Chase Elliott had the nosedive into the barrier and then won the race, and we left the track because there's a lightning warning right after the race was over because there's a storm coming in. And also me and my dad wanted to leave the track before traffic got super bad, so I didn't see the burnout until I got home, which I do kind of uh, regret, but in the end, uh, we, we beat the traffic out for the most part, so that's pretty cool. Been to Charlotte every year since 2007. That's super cool. I am a Blaney fan. Uh, I'm a Newman fan first, but he's going to retire soon, if not this season, next season. Bold prediction. Either Kurt Busch or Ryan Newman retires this year, but only one of them will, not both. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be Kurt Busch that's going to stay, but that's fine. So let's see if I missed any of these. I saw Steph Curry, Justin Timberlake, and Aaron Rodgers earlier to earlier today. What did you do earlier today, Procore? Did you, did you see him on TV or did you see him in real life? Where did you go? Gone to Charlotte every year since 2007. Tried the like 140 apiece. Yeah, no, not, uh, yeah. Yeah, Roval was fun. Not a Team Fitzy fan, but I like, I, I've gotten, I've, I've, not a, holy crap. I'm going to take a break really quick. So, um, earlier I talked about doing a challenge with some of my friends. There are a hundred notifications on, on my Hangouts app on my phone. I, I don't want to have to go through that. I throw away my phone. Oh, Tahoe for a second. Lake Tahoe, that's such a cool place, too, for a celebrity golf tournament. That is awesome. I will get back to unracking tracks soon, I promise. But you guys are making chats super, super interesting. Really wanted to see the finish and burn out at Coda so I could record it. Nice. Okay, I, I did that at Dover. Oh, back to the track. I keep getting sidetracked. So I went to 2019 Charlotte Roval, and then I went to 2020 one Dover. So I went to Dover this year where the Hendrick had the one, two, three, four sweep. So I've actually lucked out and gone to a lot of really memorable NASCAR races in my life. Newman gets replaced by Kozlowski. Unfortunately, lively stop motions. I, uh, I think that's, I, I don't see any other thing happening. Newman. I don't know. Now that track house has bought Chip Ganassi racing. I think Newman's done. At least in the big tra uh, big teams for a while. Unless they go back, unless if he goes back to Penske, that won't happen. Robo's produced. The Roval is fantastic. Or I, I honestly do. I, th I think the Roval is my favorite track on schedule. Honestly, also been to Indy 500. That's oh, that's awesome. Half of those notifications are us talking about your live stream. Thank you, Pika. Okay, uh, okay. So now I have to go through them because that's kind of funny. I have somewhere called live. Lively sucks in my career chat. That's nice. Oh boy, I have over five hundred diecast. That's super cool. I think I have over two hundred, but over five hundred. That's awesome. Don't worry about the notifications. Got it. Okay, I like how half of these are just my friends talking to me about notifications. I don't film this, but I want to. I want to. Some. That's cool. Okay, so okay, Procore. I think Benedetto goes to Penske since I agree. Ooh, wait, goes to Penske since Cindric will be there. I think he has an out in his contract where Cindric can go straight to Penske. If I'm wrong about that, I think Cindric, uh, I think De Benedetto could get a shot and hit. There's squirrels on my window. I am, holy crap. Yeah, so um, De, Bened De Benedetto and Cindric could very easily be 12 21. I don't, I don't know who will be where though. 400 to 500. That's super awesome. I have to get back to opening these tracks. I have to do what I promised. You guys are distracting me. I'm not blaming you guys. This is super fun. 
Oh no! Okay, so Panera's banking is in here. I might have just bent that. It's not super stable banking, but I really hope it's okay. Can I, can I get to that? Why is this wrapped up so securely? Why did I just... This wrapping sucks. You know what? I'll get the Panera banking later. Let's see if I can... Can I slide these out? I just slid the entirety of my tracks across the floor instead of just picking out one of them like I wanted. Uh, return to chat for a second. Didn't go to 2020 because of COVID. That's uh, that's unfortunate. COVID really screwed a lot of people there. It's announced earlier that Cent Oh, it was announced earlier that Cendric is in the 21 and 2022. Okay. I didn't know if uh, Cendric was going to have an out in his contract where he could go to the 12 as well. I'm not sure. Uh, Pens Pensy's probably got some clauses, but if he goes to the 20... That's fine. Uh, if he goes to the 21, I think that's fine for him. I think Matt's going to the Penske in the two. I could see that happening. It was announced. Oh, so October 2020. I know it was announced back then. I i don't know the details of the contract. I don't think anybody does. Uh, I think Eric, you stepped in a video on it where there might be an out and there, there might be a clause in the contract where if a spot opens up a Penske center, it goes earlier. In the end, I think he'll go to the 21. Think of 100 to 150 diecast. Nice. Rest in Sarah Rap. Yes, uh, that is kicking my butt today. Probably going to listen to your stream and switch. That's cool. Honestly, that's a right. Wait. Okay. Everyone, we're taking a break for tracks because Riley, Riley Herbst to Hendrick? No. What? Lively, are you pulling my tail? Are you are you are you messing with me? Where 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 does that where was that announced? I'm looking on uh, Riley Herbst. I'm just gonna look up Riley Herbst. Blaney to the twenty two, De Benedetto to the twelve, Logano to the two. I don't I don't know. They might change numbers. I don't I don't think so. I think everyone keeps their numbers. Joking. I was about to say, there's no way Riley Herbst goes to... What What were you talking... Why did I fall for that? Kendrick doesn't have an Xfinity team. It's JR Motorsports, not Hendrick. Okay, you got me lively. All right, so to be fair, lively, I forgot that JR Motorsports wasn't Hendrick Xfinity. I, I got this... I get those two confused all the time. So I thought Riley Herbst got like a shot to like drive for JR. I'm very gullible. I'm gonna get back to opening Saran Wrap now. You guys, you got, you guys enjoy enjoy that. You guys enjoy me. You guys enjoy me freaking out looking for juice that's obviously not real while I open this. I'll I'll look at. I have to get this open, so I'm gonna look at the chat once this is open. But I can't look at it. There was a flap right here the entire time that just ripped all this off. Huh? Oh, maybe not. Okay. Open sesame. Well, I've done all I can do. Uh, SpongeBob. Okay. I how? Ooh, that's helpful. And bam. Okay, so it turns out you guys didn't see Panera banking next after all. It's very floppy. All right. Now that you've seen that this useless piece of garbage that I really don't ever want to set up. Hey, it says gold. It says gullible on the ceiling. Huh. I don't I don't have another person here off screen to punch me across the face when I do that. It's not a good comedic gag. I'm gonna go to Lively in a minute. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. You guys go check out Lively um and his premiere. I I I've, I've gotta finish unboxing all these tracks, but yeah, live go look at Lively's premiere. Um and then I'll probably keep it here. If you have if you're on a computer, you got multiple tabs. Sorry. Yeah, no, you guys, uh, it says here, it says gullible in the chat. Well, that doesn't work because it does say gullible in the chat. Floppy. All right. Now I'm going to get back. The tracks finally come out now. Okay. 
and after like a 15 minute break, uh, we get to these tracks. Okay, uh, on iPad, yeah. But go, definitely go check out Lively Stream if that's if that's starting. So Tropical Smoothie, season three, race seven. If you want to see more of it, go go look at that race. Your stream, no man. Hey, look, this stream is something I did on a whim. Your premiere, you know what, Lively? I'm I'm going to your thing right now. I know I'm still live streaming, but I'm going to a new tab. Oh, okay. My live stream is in my recommended. Fantastic. Live. Lively. Oh, what's the, what the crap? Okay. You put a lot, you put a lot of work into stop motion, man. Stop. This is something I did on a whim and I've been struggling with and it's been partially an utter disaster, except you guys have made it super, super fun. So no, I'm going, to, I'm going, to, I'm going to look at this. One, one, two, okay. I'm going to mute it so I don't get an echo sound. So it came from the NLS live stream. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. Hey, I thought it was true to I was looking it up to. It can be a reaction stream. All right. Got to go eat dinner soon. Oh, it's only three a West Coast gang. All right. At this point, you guys are just gonna make you guys are just gonna try to trick me a whole bunch. So so I go. Oh, I thought, oh boy. All right. This is this is great. I've been streaming for 41 minutes. Holy crap. All right, you guys are. Oh, it's at Bristol. Yeah, so I'm. I'm gonna. Here, I've got to look at the chat, but I am gonna flip back and forth between your stream lively because I am excited to see some short track banging action. Plus, stop motion take way more times than live streams where I just throw cardboard at a camera and hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Thirteen people watching. Thank you. So, Deja Blue. I haven't paved any more of it since the um, Legend Series Trilogy Tournament race. That was second to last trilogy tournament race, um, and it's honestly one of my most viewed trilogy tournament races. I missed it; bounced off the backboard too hard. Pause. Ooh. Okay, so five seconds until lively stream. So I'm going to take just a second to uh, look at that. I'm, I'm, I'll still do the track, but I am gonna look at that for a second, which means I won't be able to see chat quite as well. Let's see. Deja Blue. I've just been in this place. Perfect, perfect pro core. All right. Oh, that, holy crap, Lively. That is a good Bristol. Oh, that's right. Okay. I saw this Bristol track before. I, I think. Maybe not. That is a good Bristol track. Oh, man. Ooh. All right. You've got to tell me where you got. If you're still on my stream and you're bouncing back and forth, you got it. You got to tell me where you got that Corvette. Yeah, no, and, and but I, I wanted to see the track. The track looks so good. You gotta tell me where you got that Corvette, li uh, Lively. You gotta tell me because ah, I love Corvettes. You gotta tell me where you got that little Corvette pace car. <laughs> Pro core and the other talking to me through the premiere on Lively. This is incredible. I love this. This is this has become my new favorite. I don't know my, what my new fa no my new favorite of what. But this has become my new favorite. I got it at Target. You found that at Target? All right, you're lucky. I'm never finding that on Target. I don't, I don't want to order it off of Amazon because I don't want to spend a lot of money to get it. But hi, everyone from the NLS stream. This is amazing. Lively, I hope you're enjoying. Uh, I hope you're enjoying all of this. Ooh, look at those graphics. All right, Lively, I don't know why I haven't subscribed to you yet, but you have just earned yourself a new subscriber. Look at those graphics. Ooh, I love that. What's up, Nick? <laughs> yeah, so you, are you guys talking to me through Lively? Focus on Lively. This is his work. And this is his amazing graphics. Holy crap. Just a Hot Wheels car. The power of technology, yes. Yeah, no, I, oh, man. If it's just a Hot Wheels car, I could probably see if I can look it up on Live or not too much. Oh, this is so cool. Hey, NSL. <laughs> You guys, focus on Lively. It's his premiere, man. Look at his graphics. Look at how cool his track is. Look at all that. With the whole... <laughs> this is this is again. This is my new favorite. This is my this is my new favorite. Yeah, no problem, Lively. This looks incredible. I'm flipping between streams. <laughs> I don't even know which chat to read anymore. Y you guys are cool. All right, the row thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. 
I wish I was able to get numbers this cleanly chopped off. I've done some Photoshop work on all of the drivers that I have in the Legend series for tickers. But focus on whatever you want. I'm focusing on all of it. I have the power to focus on all of it. Even though I did say I would show off more tracks, so I'm going to work on being able to show these off while watching your live stream. Okay, so the next one is out. Okay, quick. I have time between the between the rows. Maybe. Race graphics aren't that good. I couldn't get the number of cards during the race. Ah, that's all right. The number of cards during the race are usually pretty tricky. Anyways, Gatorade and Bolt Motor Speedway. The, honestly, there's not much to see here. If you've seen the Christmas Cup, you've seen Gatorade. Bolt isn't much of anything right now. And now, oh no, I'm, lo I'm losing viewers. Hopefully it's to your stream. Hopefully it's to your uh, premiere lively. Hopefully that's where I'm losing my viewers too. Timmy Hill just followed everyone on Twitter after a Reddit post because Timmy Hill is cool. That's, that is cool. I'm reading your stream. All right. Drivers to watch for. All right. While drivers are being watched. Thank you for the nice Gatorade. While, while that's being done on your stream lively. Aflac Motor Speedway, Season 3, Race 1. It's a normal track with indie style turns and a funky chicane in the backstretch. I, I like that one. I don't like folding up my trifold boards. Okay, back to Lively's race. Thank you. Thank you. Um, in a, in a, oh, man, I switched to Lively's too quick. Okay, I'll read, you, I'll read your name in just a second, but thank you, man. I, I, I work hard on these tracks. It means that this is so – all right. Everyone watching my stream, if you have not subscribed to Lively Stop Motions, go subscribe to Lively Stop Motions because holy crap, his, he has a race premiering right now, 20 laps. The racing is incredible. He's got he's got actually a pretty nice ticker. I, I really I really actually do like that ticker. Um, uh, man, Chase Briscoe and the lead right. Ooh, you know what? He probably has cut. Hold on. But Chase Briscoe will lead lap five. Okay, so he does have commentary, so I'm not going to... Oh, oh man, this is a cool race. I'm not going to spoil it. I, I know I'm already behind, so you guys, if you're watching that, thank you for the... For, oh, yeah, no problem, man. Your stop motions are incredible. Holy crap. Uh, oh, this name I said. In... God, I, why can't I read right now? LW23 Racing. Thank you, man. All right, let's see. Re oh, man. Okay, so... I'm assuming every, everyone who's seen the lively stop motion, or if you're watching that, Chase Briscoe just got turned by Kyle Bush. This is great. 16 viewers. That is exactly what you're – man, that's that's cool. That's 17. You deserve all of these viewers, man. These are crazy. These are This is such a good race. All right. So with the seven people I still have on this stream, assuming that you're not on a computer and can't watch both, the next track is beautiful. It is a blank white piece of cardboard for me to do whatever I want with. So, new track coming soon, I guess. Now, back to racing on Lively, because holy crap, this is good. It is 20 laps. That must have, how long did it take you to make this race, Lively? You can you can respond on either, on either the stream, my stream or your premiere. How long did it take you to... Is that a Kyle Larson custom? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I like that this live stream has just become a reaction to this guy's race. 30 hours in one week? Yeah, thank you, uh, Nick the Good Gamer. And I will get back to doing the tracks in a second. I've got to watch Lively Stop Motion, though. Kyle Larson, the lead in a beautiful custom paint scheme. Oh, Larson, you've won enough. Okay, uh, you know what? I don't need to commentate over this. This is just beautiful. You wrecked Newman. <laughs> I'm, I almost made the joke that I'm taking back everything I said about how good your stop motion is. No, I can't do that. That's too mean, even in a joking way. But you wrecked Newman. Come on. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, unfortunately, Newman got turned by Almirola. What's what if it's... Whatever. Now, I will go back to doing this while they're replaying. Um, mobile One, this one's pretty old. This one's honestly not that good. I mean, it's fine, but Mobile One was Season 2, Race 9, first playoff race. And then the, what's on the back of this is actually nothing. I, I, I was scrapping that one. It was going to have a bridge on it. It was going to be cool, but I couldn't do that. 
I'll, I'll like the rest of this race. All right. Very cool. The 51 in the lead. I never liked you, Trex. Oh, no. Yeah, that's super. Your car movement is incredible. Three wide for the lead. Oh, boy. Oh, did he save it and they stayed under green? That's a cool touch. You don't see many people who have the cars wrecked pull down to pit road and stay green. Usually you get a caution to say, like, I, I throw cautions a lot when people spin just because I get too lazy to film, honestly. Ah, oh, 16. Of, okay, now Truex is coming back out. Is he going to interfere with the leaders? Looks like he's going to. Okay, I, I've got to stop commentating on your race, man. It's your work. It's your work. How long did it take you take to make the dirt track? Um, I'm going to assume that you mean the dirt track that I did the championship on. It took me five minutes. I drew a pencil around a cardboard thing. I got too lazy to do anything else with it. So that track is pretty much nothing. Oh, man. Oh, holy crap. Did you do a custom wreck like Miscraft does? I can't look away from this with five seconds without being so impressed. I'll, I'll get back to my stream in a second. William Byron blew a tire and junked it, and the side body has damage. And it's, just, it's just like a Miscraft wreck, and it looks so good. Holy crap. I made a dirt track with brown clay. That is cool. I just used a brown piece of cardboard. It's nothing. Using uh, using the brown clay, that is something I wish I could do. That Or I could do it, but I, it's something that I want. I might want to do. So, ooh. All right, you said I'd like the rest of this. Come on, Blaney. In, in the paint scheme, hold on. For good luck, I'm holding my Blaney of the same paint scheme. Two laps to go. Come on, Blaney. Kyle Larson is inside. No, no, Kyle Larson got passed. Okay, come on. Believe in the luck of the 124. I'm not going to commentate on your race. I'll stop doing that. Oh, one lap to go. Come on. Mm, yes, he got loose. No, his. Yes. All right, cool. Blaney won the lively stop motion race. Oh, maybe that was spoilers. Oopsies. I'm looking at the dirt track. Yes. All right, hold on just a second. I will be right here. So, clearly, there is luck here. Clearly, there is luck here. Thank you, Lively. You made my day. I know Newman crashed, but you know what? You made up for it. Ryan Blaney, in my favorite Blaney paint scheme, maybe of all time. Thank you very much, Lively. Clarkson is my favorite driver. That, that takes guts to not let your favorite driver win like that. That takes a lot of guts, man. That, what a fantastic race. Again. If you're on this stream and you haven't checked out Lively Stop Motions, go subscribe to him. His races are incredible. And now I will get back to opening tracks like I promised to do. You know, I said I, this wouldn't take an hour. It's going to end up taking an hour. You guys are awesome for sticking with me this entire time. Man. I mean, it's been an hour of your lives. That's, that's cool that I was able to I suck at typing. Yeah, that's fine. Also added the choose code. You did add the oh choose code to the dirt track. Nice. Yo, know, when it was Ryan Newman and Ryan Lady photo finish, you're Talladega 2019. That was some mixed emotions. Ryan Blaney. Then I, I made a video of my reaction to this one, actually. I think it still exists. So if you want to see um if I was happy or upset, go to there's a video from just after that race finished, actually. 2019 Talladega fall, uh, fall. I was, honestly, I think I was kind of heartbroken. <laughs> I was jumping everywhere. <laughs> yeah, no, Blaney winning was super, super cool. And I love it for Blaney. But Newman hasn't won in like three years. <laughs> I just used whiteout for the restart zone start line. Oh, whiteout. And we back. Yeah, that was it. it Holy crap, my viewer jumped. My viewer count has went back up to 12. I'm happy that you guys all went to see the uh, um, 
lively stop motion race. That's cool. Thank you guys for going out and checking out his work. That was a fantastic race. I can't wait to see more from you, Lively. So next up, and I'm finally getting back on track, we have Elmer's, which this track was, I believe, season two, race five. Yeah, because Martin Daniels race four. So season two, race five, Elmer Speedway. I need to pave this one, but it's fairly standard. Again, the theme of tight one and two, wide three and four. I really need to mix up my formula at this point. It's getting way too repetitive. And the, green, and the green flag is back out for watching the NLS live stream. Fantastic. This is this is my favorite. Okay, so this is Pearl City Speedway. Technically, it's Pearl City uh, Speedway White Pearl Speedway. I was going to make a city street course and call it the Black Pearl Speedway eventually. I haven't done that yet. I like this racetrack. I'm not going to pave this one. This one is going to remain white concrete. And that's the – so Pearl City Speedway is going to remain white concrete. That was season two, race six. Where do you get these massive pieces of cardboard? Okay, so all these cardboards I find at Target and Walmart. I guess right now Walmart. They are all um, – or not all. Most of them are trifold boards. Some of them are like big moving boxes that will unfold. But most of them are just big trifold boards. So you go to school supply, like where the school supplies and all that is, at, uh, and you find big pieces of trifold board, and that is what most of these tracks are made on. They're really, really easy for someone who moves a lot like me. Now, Napa, this was my crappy attempt to make a, um, this is a really crappy attempt to make a tri-oval. This was, this was one of the, this was a track that I made pretty early on, so I didn't know a lot about track making. But the cardboard surface under it isn't very smooth, which is why I eventually moved away from the packing tape backs of these. Um, it's really uneven with... You're kidding. Once again, a sharp one and two, a flowing three and four. This time completely by accident. So I really have some bad habits I need to kick here. <laughs> Napa, Napa know-how. Yeah. Uh, this this track wasn't this track isn't great though. I don't I don't like Napa very much. This one had some promise, but I guess this piece of trifold board was just crappy. I think there's a science project under it. But as much as I like Goodyear, as much as I like the layout, and as much as I like this striped corner down here, especially, it's and I really like the narrow the narrow uh, backstretch on the bottom here. The cardboard just isn't good. The cars roll too much, and I don't have tack right now. So, unfortunately, that is a track that um I don't know if it's going to see race. Napa know how to make th wide three and four. Yes, yes, Napa do. Okay. Um, now we're moving on to some... This is the last track. Okay, unexpectedly, we are already at the last two tracks that I have. I didn't realize that I had already gone through every, every, all of them. Um, again, I have a blank piece of cardboard here, so I can still make more in the future. And and uh, if you guys ever have a suggestion for a track, honestly, just let me know. So, last two tracks I have. Dirt Track is probably my favorite track I made. Um, well, that's our the dirt. Honestly, a dirt track with actual clay seems like a really, really cool idea. So, last two tracks I have, I have Subway Speedway, which is, I mean, it's a fine track. It's a it's a Phoenix Phoenix esque track. Start finish line is in a pretty weird spot. Um, it breaks the trend because it has um, short one. Turn two is pretty sharp. Turn three is like this curve right here, I guess, and then turn four. It's a pretty interesting Phoenix uh, Phoenix esque track with a weird loopy road course that I did fairly recently. But there's one problem with this track, and that is, I'll show it to you in just a second. They just stopped motion track on my workspace dresser home. So, and I'll get to all of that after I'm done showing off the cardboard tracks, actually, because I I've done that too. So, the track that started it all. All right, technically not. I had um. A tiny, tiny cardboard box that was like the underside of a storage box that I drew a circle on when I was super little. So that started it all. But 
Miss Misscraft. So um. Yeah. Oh, cool. We just hit the one hour mark. I've got all my cardboard tracks on the floor. I usually keep them piled against my wall, so really not any better. But I don't actually know if I have a good wall in this house. So we'll see what I do with that. Miscraft is a really, really good YouTuber. I, I wish. I, I wish I. I wish I could make races as good as Miscraft. Dirt and paved tracks are the same shape. Like it. Oh, cool. The, but yeah, the, the fact that you made a dirt with red clay it was just super cool. So Sharpie Speedway. Back to back to this. It was a super speedway at one point. It had finished yellow, double yellow lines all the way around it. This was the first cardboard track I made. And it was great. I tried to make banking. And now this pops out of place and creates a divot on this side of subway which makes the car movement really, really hard. Subway still hosted a range-shortened season three, race nine. Range-shortened because I hated working on it and I never got a, ton a chance to work on it that much. But um, that is all my cardboard tracks. Live stream's not gonna end quite yet though, because I want to explain where I have a few more. Oh, okay, Apex is still on my Switch. All right, and I will be there in just a Hi, Julia. I had a friendly visit from my sister once again. Oh, boy, I showed socks. Uh-oh. Road course, was, that was so big. I hate doing stop motions on it. You can definitely make a track. Eric's, Eric Estep. Yeah, Eric Estep is... I wish he still made stop motions as much as he did before. I, I started following him for stop motions, actually. Pave track. Pave track, I called it Gatorade International Speedway, and the dirt is Charlotte Dirt. Oh, nice, Gatorade. I like that. That's very cool. Okay, so... You see this table right here? Ignore the apex. I'll probably play some with my cousin after this. But this this wood table here that um sure does be looking like a wood table though. Um that wood table hosted season one race eight of the uh, NASCAR Legend series, and Richard Petty won it. And then the other let's see. Uh, uh oh, you never show. F yeah, okay. We, we, we understand where that went. He does some stop motion like stuff. Yeah, he does. Minecraft is very superior pro core. The reason why, the reason why I have Apex is because my cousin plays Apex and it's fun to play with other people. So I got Apex for that reason. But um, speaking of Minecraft pro core, me and a couple of friends, including Pika, who's been in the chat for a while, are doing a 24 hour challenge. We're not streaming it. It's a. Uh, not going to be on video, or at least I don't think it is. I don't, we weren't planning on it, but basically we're all like between five friends. We're all going to take turns staying on a, the same server for 24 hours. And I have the night shift. So that'll be cool. <laughs> um, and then, so the one other thing I wanted to mention, you see all my cars here. Uh, I actually have a calendar for NASCAR, but the biggest thing here, this chalk table Hosted season one race two and season one race four with two different tracks: Sharpie, uh, Sharpie, no, Snickers Speedway, and Table Rock. Uh, so season one race two and race four were both on the ch chalk table. Basically, what I wanted. Oh, hold on. Should I try and make a road course a, uh, a bunch of small? Should I try and make the road course a bunch of small tracks? That's not about, if you can connect them without making it like. That sounds fun, honestly. It will be fun. It'll be incredibly exhausting, but it'll be fun. We've been planning it out for like two years, and we finally got a chance to do it. But um, what I wanted to, sh uh, to tell you all, uh, all of you, I'm losing words, is between just the top of a wood table, a chalkboard, and even down to some of my best cardboard tracks, you can make a stop motion track on just about anything, and with the right attitude, you can make it look good. So... Uh, no matter what resources you happen to have, if you don't have a giant box of Sharpies that you definitely don't sniff. I don't sniff Sharpies. Don't sniff Sharpies. Do, I do not condone sniffing Sharpies. Sniffing Sharpies is bad. Don't ever do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But so this is um, 
the conclusion of my live stream, unless if you guys have anything else you would like to say, thank you for watching me unbox all of these. I play way too much of that game sometimes and when I need a break from stop motion. Yeah, no, when when you take a taking a break from stop motion, Minecraft is honestly one of the games I go to. Just it's it's very relaxing. Stop motions can get very repetitive sometimes. I'm kind of on a monthly basis, I'll either be really dedicated or not. I'm going to go work on stop motion now. See a Gatorade Cup series. It was great having you on here. Good live stream, 10 out of 10. Thank you for the promotion. Of course, man, Lively. Again, if you're on here and you haven't subscribed to Lively, subscribe to Lively Stop Motions. Had a fantastic Bristol race today. Premiered while I was live streaming, actually. I reacted to that. That's why it's an hour long instead of 40 minutes. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. Thank you very much. This that's that's pretty much it for my live stream. Unless if you guys have anything else to say, but um, I have now unboxed all of my tracks, and hopefully very soon I will get to filming the next stop motion race that I have. Expect some sort of announcement either this weekend or very shortly after this weekend. Oh boy, the numbers just keep climbing, LW. Um, this weekend or after this weekend, I'll have an announcement for what I want to do about season four. There's something that involves Good Rich Cup series, another stop motion YouTuber. Um. So, I'll give you uh, I'll give you guys a quick brief for the eleven that are on. Um, NASCAR Legend Series is going to become dormant for a little while. It's not ending. It's definitely not ending. I love the NASCAR Legend Series. I'm never I'm never going to end it. I'm going to be doing it when I'm 102. But numbers just keep climbing. It's pro core. Uh, so I'm going to take a pause from doing that though and focus on one-off races because I only have one more year until I go to college. I don't want to focus on doing a whole season right before I go to college. There's a lot of other stuff I have to do. So I'm just going to do one-off races for a while. And then maybe in college or after college, I'll get back to doing NASCAR Legend Series. Um, I don't want to take that long of a break. What I might end up doing instead, if I give in, is um, one, I'll do one one-off race, one NASCAR Legend Series race. But I won't post the NASCAR Legend Series race until I have all of the ones from the season, probably 10 races. Nick, the good gamer. Oh, wow, that's a big number. Okay. <laughs> but um, NASCAR Legend Series, not a, it's not over. It is just on a temporary, uh, not Oasis. That's a resort in a desert. That's how good the stream was. Thank you. 12 out of 6. Yeah, um, NASCAR Legend Series is going to be taking a temporary leave of absence, I guess. But I'm going to be doing one-off races, so that'll be fun. I'm going to actually make cars of the same uh, generation race. Well, technically that number is above <laughs> is about 20 and one-third. I hope you do more streams and have a nice rest of your day. Thank you. Hi hiatus. That's the word. Thank you, Coffee. I will watch your channel a lot more. Thank you, Lively. Yeah, so... um. Again, lots of lots of want. I need to stop saying the same things over. So, Good Wrench Cup Series. This is the part I wanted to get to. Is starting his own uh, legend series of sorts. He's calling it the Good Wrench Legacy Series, and he's doing the same thing I did, where he combined a whole bunch of different types of um, race cars of great drivers from NASCAR's history and racing them. So, if you want to continue to see that idea play out, go check him out while I'm doing my one-offs, and I will be back with NASCAR Legend Series. Um. When my life settles down a little bit. But uh, NASCAR Legend Series is still here, still on this channel, here to stay until, again, 102. If I'm dead by then, that's a little bit morbid to think about. All right, don't think about me dying. It's okay. If I, if I die in the middle of Season 27 of the NASCAR Legend Series, I guess there just won't be a Season 27 champion. Stream the Minecraft at night because I'll probably be awake. The issue with that is I don't. I have a Mac. I don't have a great streaming computer. So, um... I doubt I'm going to stream the 24-hour challenge, unfortunately. We might one day, Procore. Uh, very well chance, especially in college, you know. When don't, don't, don't die on me. Oh, no, 102 a person. Don't leave. I have to finish the final race of season 27 of the Mac. Mac is whack. There we go. Peak has summed it up. Um, so no, no, no stream later tonight. This will be my I, I don't stream a lot. I don't know why. But ah, this was a ton of fun, guys. Imagine using an Apple PC. It's not a PC. It's just a laptop, at least. I don't... Uh, Apple PCs are... <laughs> but, um... Everyone liked this stream. Your final words are just one... Your final words, just one more picture. It's, 
laughs, laughs in windows. Oh man, you guys cannot stop making this the most inner part, entertaining part of my day. Uh oh. Um. I just smashed uh, my computer charger into a whole bunch of Macs, or not a, not a whole bunch of Macs. What am I talking about? Into a whole bunch of cardboard tracks. I just have a Chromebook because I chose to spend my money on a better car. Procore, that is, that that is cost distribute. There's a there's an economic principle there somewhere. Windows DXE has crashed due to an unknown Apple. Oh no! Now we're now my stream is devolved from opening tracks into just computer warfare. Final words: And Richard Petty will win the season 27 championship. If Richard Petty is alive when I'm 102 years old, I'd be oh, NASCAR Legend Series will never have Dale Senior. It will never have uh, Alan Kowicki. It will not have drivers who have deceased. Um, if a driver unfortunately deceases in the middle of a race, I'll give a replacement driver when I'm voicing it over. Uh, just, I don't know. For me, it's always been like a respect thing. It's like, hey, I'm not going to have the, like as much as he would love driving in his death. I'm not. There's got to be some realism. I don't know why I do it. 11, 11, 11 on the live stream. But, um,. I honestly think that's it, other than just reacting to you guys, which has just been spontaneous, off the wall, wild, wild commentary, which is great. Kobe Bryant won't race in the NLS. Unfortunately, no. I did get the Ryan Blaney Kobe Bryant scheme. I got the Ryan Blaney uh, Kobe Bryant scheme. So if Ryan Blaney win wins a few more races, then Kobe Bryant will race in the NASCAR Legend Series. One and the 187 year old Richard Petty wins at Goodyear Motor Speedway, the uh, on the first race of Goodyear Motor Speedway because I finally remade it on some wood surface, which I hope to do to all of my tracks one day. I have a lot of Ryan Blaney games. You know what? Just for you guys, I won't end the stream yet. Hold on. Somebody talked about Ryan Blaney games. Lively. If if you if you were waiting for the stream to be older, this is all your all over. This is all your fault. I actually like the Iron Games better than the Blaney Games, which I know is unpopular. Eh, I don't know. The the the, the sock is back. Uh oh. <laughs> what have we done? Oh no. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to say that Ryan Newman. It's my fault, and I love it. Well, I'm glad I'm making you guys happy. The fun will never end. No, it will not. I, that sounded like a threat, though. Okay, so I've got to say, I have more Newmans than any any other car. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 Ryan Newman uh, diecast. I have two of his 39 cars. I have his Tornado and his Army. I'll get to Blaney in a second. Um, I have four of his 31 cars. I have Dale Sr. Throwback. I have a 2015 cat car. I don't have any 2014 Newman cars, which kind of makes me sad. Kind of sounded like a thread, though. Don't quote me on that. Uh, it was 2018-31. It's 2017-31. I, I try to get a Newman car from every year that I can. There are still a few years in the gaps that I might get one day. I have three of his 12 cars. I have Blue Alltail. I have 12 uh, Mobile One. And this one makes me sad because it's an Alltail 12. My favorite ever Ryan Newman car was crushed under a door when I was four years old. I, op I opened a door and my Ryan Newman car was under it. Have I met Ryan Newman before? I'll answer that question in a second. Um, my favorite Ryan Newman car got crushed under a door when I was like four years old. I still have its carcass laying around here somewhere and I did its touch-up work. I did some touch-up work with the Sharpie, but the wheels are gone and the axe uh, and... Because you know it happened when I was four, so I only have the under uh, the under uh, chassis and the body. I do not have the wheels anymore, unfortunately. A very big F. Kyle Larson is the driver I have the most diecasts of. Um, I only have four Kyle Larson cars or three Kyle Larson cars. I'm waiting for his uh, to get a number five, but that'll hopefully happen at some point. I have let's see six Chase Elliotts, seven Denny Hamlins. I have more Denny Hamlins than Chase Elliotts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I know that's a bad thing apparently, but um. Rest in doorknob. So I, I guess I only have six Denny Hamlin. Let's see. I have 23 Dale Jr. cars and 23... Ron How do you guys have the same number in 23... Holy crap. 
18 if you include my holy crap you guys are blown up this isn't even my favorite driver but i have 17 chase elliott chase elliott's just such a popular driver so many paint schemes five kyle bush cars nice i i have uh, let's see favorite driver most cars i have for a driver okay um, unfortunately I am an anti Kyle Busch fan, but I've grown to respect what he does for the sport. I can give you proof. All right. Um, so I guess I only have six Denny Hamlin cars. This is just a Christmas Sam Bass car, but I, it's an 11. So I use it as Denny Hamlin. Started becoming a Kyle Larson fan in 2018. I have all of his schemes since. That is super cool, Procore. That, I, I wish I could be that dedicated. I don't have a job, so I can't. I can't, I don't have a job, <laughs> but it's probably fine. Um, I'm good at saving money. I'm just not good at earning money. The, you know what? No more economics. Doesn't need to. I have eight Dale Jr. cars, which used to be my most, and then I started buying a ton of Newmans. I'll, prob I'll probably be a Chase Chase fan when Kyle retires. Okay, fair enough. I also love Kyle Busch. A lot of Kyle Busch fans here. Interesting story about Kyle Busch. So, mm, you know what? Never mind. No interesting story about Kyle Busch. Er, okay, kinda. My dad met Kyle Busch in the hospital for um, once. I'm not gonna say anything more about that just because that's a. Eh, there, there's no reason to. But my dad met Kyle Busch once, and Kyle Busch went up to him and says, "Hey, do you want my autograph?" Like just asking, "Is like, hey, do you want my autograph?" And my dad instantly, um, was like, "Nope." But do you want? But and then he asked Kyle Busch for his autograph, kind of making fun of Kyle Busch, and Kyle Busch just walked out of the hospital room angry. So that's a, that's a great story. I also hate Kyle Busch. A lot of mixed. Kind of, we're we're gonna end up having a turf war of some sort. All right, finally, on to Ryan Blaney. I only have one of his Wood Brothers schemes, and it's the twenty-one. Ver oh no, it's the twenty-one. Who are you? Uh, twenty-one Virginia Tech. Um car one i love this color i love the color of virginia tech two i thought i was going to go to virginia tech for a while i changed my mind on that and i'm looking more into app state now but i don't know what my larson top three worst hamlin elliot kyle bush i'm not going to disagree with you but i'm not going to agree with you either so um kind of neutral on that pick kyle larson is superior kyle i i i, I do agree with that yeah i i no, i do agree with that Again, favorite Ryan Blaney scheme. I have the 124, also have the 164. Daytona, Body Armor, Strawberry. I, I, that's my favorite flavor of Body Armor. I drink Body Armors a ton. It's probably his fault. Um, let's see. I have his throwback, 2020 throwback, Ryan Blaney car. I have, this is the one I got at Dover this year. Uh, 2021 Dex, Ryan Blaney car. I have same one that's on my shirt. Uh, 2020, I think. Same, best flavor of body armor. Goldberry is so good. It's like apple juice, but better, I think. And I only started seeing it recently. G Goldberry is crazy good. First race I watched, the ending of 2019 championship race. Okay, nice. I love his body armor schemes. And yeah, no, I think I have all of his body armor schemes, honestly. Uh, ooh, don't have all-star, but I don't want the numbers slid back. I don't care about those cars at all. Um, because especially since they're about to become commonplace, apparently, whatever. Double E Cup Series Ryan Blaney car. I don't think so. Unfortunately, top three favorites, first to third: Kyle Larson, Ryan Blaney, Chase Elliott. Solid. I only have the all. You know what? The All Star one's fine. I just never found it, so I never got it. Um, I have the Kobe Bryant Ryan Blaney tribute. I just got this one. This car I actually bought like last week. Um, and then the other ones I have, I have his Richmond Water Heaters playoff car, 2020 All-Star Ryan Blaney, uh, four, four All-Star cars. Dang, nice. First race I watched was probably when I was a baby. My older brother and grandpa have always. The first, okay, so I have the Kobe car right next to me. It's very cool. So um, I also have his advanced auto parts normal scheme. I have his 2018 Duracell car. I love how shiny this thing is. I actually did – Ryan Blaney did race in the NASCAR Legend Series when replacing Kyle Larson for – that's a whole weird story because Kyle Larson replaced Kyle Busch after his fight with Brad Kozlowski in my fantasy series, and then when Kyle Larson said uh, – had his incident, um, I had to replace him with Ryan Blaney for a race. That was a whole ordeal, so I'm glad Kyle Larson's all cleaned up now. First wave I started buying and first wave. Very, very – whole 2020 All-Star wave. 
that's really cool. Um, I almost bought an entire wave by accident once, and that was the one with – that was the throwback wave, this year's throwback wave. I bought, like, every single car but, like, one, I think, by accident. I bought two of the Jimmy Johnson ones because I wanted it so bad, so I bought it online and in the store because I didn't know if I was going to find it in the store. Um, I know you guys were talking about first NASCAR race you saw a second ago. So first one I remember, or first one I saw, I had just watched the Cars movie, and we were flipping through channels. I think on ESPN I saw the Gen 4 Cars racing at, like, Talladega or Charlotte. or I don't remember what track. I was super little. But I was like, hey, look, it's Cars in real life. So I started watching NASCAR races. First race I remember, a 2009 Ryan Newman Talladega flip in the Army car. I Here, can I recreate that crash really quick? All right, I'm going to recreate a crash. Um, yeah, because I have both of the cars that were involved. Okay, if I remember right, I, I got to Kevin Harvick here. Why are you a NASCAR fan? Because I watched the movie Cars. I was obsessed with it. I got grew on the sport of NASCAR for a while. I kind of stopped watching NASCAR when Newman and tw- like uh, when like um, in between Car of Tomorrow and like I knew I, I followed NASCAR very, very scarcely um, after like 2011 ish until like 2016, 2017. Jimmy Johnson winning his championship brought me back in and I have been full, full swing ever since then. My Walmart is two ways behind. My Walmart is still in like 2020 waves. Don't don't complain about your Walmart to me. I think like my Walmart, the closest thing my Walmart, the only thing my Walmart has in stock is haulers and 187 2020 cars. That's it. What are your opinions on cars two and three? Important question. Two is a children's movie. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it's not for the age demographic that cars one was uh, aged up to be. Cars three is solid. Cars 3 is a solid movie. Cars 1, OG, 10 out of 10. Cars 2, it's a children's movie that it didn't go after the proper age demographic, I don't think. But for a movie, for the like four kids, for little kids, 8 out of 10. For Cars 1 fans, like 4 out of 10. Um, and then Cars 3 is probably a solid 8 out of 10. Bro, Walmart only has 2019 187s and throwback wave from 2019. Oh, poor man. Why, why are you a NASCAR fan at NLS Lightning McQueen? Yep, pretty much. Target and also no diecast. Oh, man. That that sucks. Where I lived before, I had like... It was only like maybe a week after each rave was released, it would have new, new uh, cars. And they'd be sold out super quick. And then now I am in a spot where they're like four or five waves behind. So Spain without the S. Lightning McMeme. Carnation character. I put Brad in the rain earlier. Oh, no. All right. Wait, I, I did promise I'd give the 2009 Ryan Newman, um, Kevin Harvick. Racing real fast. Uh, uh-oh. 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 That's pretty much how it was. And I was crying because I thought, right. Uh, okay, I, was, I was little. Target just stopped, stopped having. Really? That's, ah, oh, man, that's unfortunate that Target just decided to blow them off. I, I just go to Walmart now because that's what's closest. But yeah, Target, I, I've, I've, I've been more fond of Walmart than Target. St- stream lagged right when I did it? Okay. Hopefully the stream's working again. Oh, oh no. Next video, NASCAR put every. Every car that passes gets get you out. Oh, please. All right. They're good. All right. Here we go. Racing. All right. Lively. I, I, I get that it worked for you. If it lagged for a couple other people, though. Racing really fast. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Newman is dead. That's what I thought when I was like four or five or six. I had this diecast in my hand, and I was crying on my parents' bed because... Target does have a lot of cars. I was crying on my parents' bed because that's where I was watching it. I was watching it upstairs because my, my parents aren't so huge into NASCAR. But I was I was watching it on my parents' bed. And I was crying. And I had to call my great-granddad, who comforted me as Newman got out of the car. Because I thought he was, like, seriously hurt or killed. Oh, no, 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 no. Stream lag. <laughs> Big time when you did the flipper. It lagged again? Okay, I'm going to do it faster. Oh no, no, no. 
Oh! That's bad. Okay. Um, Diecast Police, please don't hurt me. It's okay. I would have been really upset if I just broke this. Oh no, it, it hit the plastic con it hit the plastic container and not the carpeted floor. But it's okay. It's fine, it didn't ship, it did nothing happened. It's all okay. Grand I watched a man die. With a little rusties and a whole lot of luck. You too can look like me. Ka chow. Man, I have that movie nearly memorized. Alright. So I'm gonna put this new one car away before I do anything worse to it. But um, yeah, I have like I I haven't gotten that upset. It's okay, mom. It's just a flip, run and gone. That's what I needed to hear at the when Newman flipped in. Twenty twenty, I was basically in a constant state of a panic attack for about three hours during the Daytona five uh, after the Daytona five hundred. Because the wreck happened. My parents know I'm a huge Ryan Newman fan, so they were just like trying to comfort me, and I was in my room because I was already like that was I was already having iffy mental health at that point, but because that was pretty close to my wrestling injury. Uh, but anyways, um, Ryan Newman 2020 flip was one of the, like, I, I was, again, constant state of a panic attack for, like, three hours. It was pretty hot. It was pretty hot. Not going to, I thought we lost her. Yeah, no. I, I can't watch, I can't even watch the replay. I hate watching the replay of that wreck. Like, I mean, uh not with Logano's wreck. Logano's wreck wasn't as bad. I know he landed close to his head and it caved in a little bit. So obviously safety can be a little bit better, but Logano's wreck wasn't nearly as bad. I think everyone knew he was going to be okay. He didn't, he just didn't get hit where Newman got hit. And that was so utterly terrifying, but enough about me having a freak out over Newman dying. It's so cool that Newman Var saved his life. I do think that's cool. All right. See you, Jordan. But, um, Ah, man, yeah, New Newman, the Newman bar saving his life, that was cool. Newman's been upside down way too much. I, All right, quick question for the chat. Hold on, totally unrelated, but I just went outside. It's 110. Go inside. Go inside, drink water, don't have a heat stroke. All right, Procore? I also hate Logano with, with everything I have. I guess it's fair. I made a Chase Elliott into a monster truck. That's cool. So um, here's a question for all of you. 110 West. Yep, Arizona. Uh, yep, that is Arizona. That that that's tough. It gets to like 85 in Florida here, where I am now. I'm in Florida now. It gets to 85, but the the UV index is like 110, so it feels like 97. But like also that you're swimming through the air. I guess Arizona at least is dry heat, but that's still tough. I passed out last Friday, so don't like, Procore. Drink, go drink water. I'm, I'm giving you, uh, I'm giving you a d demand. You have to go drink water, or I'll lock the rest of the stream behind a paywall that I can't do. Sacramento, California, first day of golf practice. It was so hot, and I fainted. Oh man, uh, the summer, the summer's killing us. <laughs> Obligatory Texas comment. Obligatory Texas comment. Georgia boy, so he gets hot as 105. I lived in Georgia freshman year of high school, so three years ago. Yeah, it gets pretty hot there. Where do you live in Florida? So. You're in the northeast. I'm in the northwest. I'm um Destin, uh, Niceville, which is right beside Destin, Arizona. I have heard Ar I've had friends who lived in Arizona that tell me it sucks, but I, I've I've always liked the Car Arizona Cardinals a little bit, so that's cool. 110, 11 now. Jeez, why do you have to live in Arizona? Also, I have fans that live in Arizona. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Oh, how 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 am I gonna lock you behind a paywall? I just will. I'm requesting you go drink water. I can't actually do it. Arizona better than California, maybe. All right. Now, before we get in a whole state war here, before we have a civil war in the comment section, I do have a question for all of you: Is Newman a Hall of Favor? Explain why or why not. How am I alive? No clue. All right, I need to go put Kevin Harvick back up while you guys answer my question. If you choose to answer my question. Where did I put my Harvick card? There we go. Man, that's not as organized as I thought it was. 111 degrees. Yeah. Cause he, oh, wait, hold on. How am I alive? AC went down and the air temp is getting higher. But it, oh, no, no, AC is down. All right, Lively, hit me up with your question. 
New okay, Newman will be a Hall of Famer about twelve years after his retirement from NASCAR. Bet honestly, I wouldn't bet against you. I I, I yeah sure. Can't answer because I only watched for three seasons so far. All right, that's fair. Um, brief Newman summary: eighteen wins, um, over fifty polls. He I don't think he has the most polls all time, but he's in like the top couple. Um, and then he had an eight win season in 2003, but was so inconsistent. He couldn't win the championship and then was a runner up in 2014 without a single win. Newman is a hall of famer. Cause he's good. I, I wanted to be in the hall of fame. I don't know. That's why I'm asking you guys. Cause if he does, I, I wanted, I think, I think that if he would have won the, the most heartbreaking part of 2020 Daytona 500 for me, if he wins that race, he won the 2008 Daytona 500. I know you're a human fan, but still, he isn't good enough for any less than five years. Oh, no, I definitely don't think he's getting it straight out of retirement. I think it's going to be 5, 10, maybe 15 years before if he has a shot. But um, if he wins the 2020 Daytona 500 and becomes a two-time Daytona 500 champion, 100% in the Hall of Fame. He got spun out and nearly, kill, and nearly killed instead, which is, which is one of the reasons why, why I was so much worse when that wreck actually happened. Now, I still think he's going to get into the Hall of Fame eventually, partially because of the recognition he got from that wreck. So, um, I guess it still works out. 78 degrees right now for rain next hour. Oh, boy. So, Gatorade, uh, I get, oh, man. I like how we're just talking about Arizona weather and then if Newman's in the Hall of Fame or not because of a crash that nearly took his life. This has been an incredible, incredible. And we have 12 people watching us talk about this. We're not even doing the... All the tracks are unwrapped, guys. <laughs> Bro, Newman is so tough that he flipped, nearly killed, and still came in fourth. He did. He came in. I thought it was seventh, but yeah, I think fourth place is right. <sighs> I was so excited because I thought he was going to win that race. Also, I felt an earthquake yesterday. All right, so unfortunately, this is going to have to be a quick end of the live stream. I have to go help my dad uh, unpack stuff in the garage. So thank you all for watching this. Uh, I am so grateful. An hour and 32 minutes, and it was about it was about 9 to 11 viewers the entire time. So I know this is a sudden quick ending. I wish I could answer more questions. I'll probably do more live streams like this if you guys want to. I mean, this seemed to have a ton of positive response. So if you guys are interested, I will do a lot more live streams in the future. So I will see you all later. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And I hope you all have a good night.